Uh, well, it was really the end of the third and then the start of the fourth. Uh, I think they were like 11 to two or something like that. Went on a six over. Um, you know, it's, it's a team. Uh, I mean, they're a talented team, you know. They're uh, healthy, they have depth, uh, they have great shooting. Um, you know, with, with teams like that, you can't let go of the rope, you know. Um, and at, at any time, you know, that's one of the type of teams that you have to play uh, solid and thoroughly through 48 minutes. And, you know, we, we had a couple of lapses here, here and there, um, just for two, three minutes at a time, and that's all that team needs. When you guys on the second wave of back-to-back, uh, and it's the third and four, and they have two days of rest, is it the depth that is the, the biggest differentiating factor? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I honestly think it's just the details. Offense has had a couple of really nice games. Uh, obviously, Oakland has been the sum of the wins here tonight. The wins against the play like Rudy Gobert, does that, does that make that difficult to think for that group or your group specifically as a starting team now? Or what question is that? One more time. Uh, so Rudy was staggered with the second game like that. I think he's got an impact. Plays with all his heavy in. He's, he's having a big impact tonight. So what did you think? Um, yeah, I mean, Rudy played great. He was plus 36 in the score. Uh, you know, he, he really uh, came in and did what he needed to do, especially in that second unit. I think they're uh, doing a great job staggering him, like you said. Um, uh, not sure. And you started off the game really with Drake and Austin and Rudy, and then they were both good enough to come in and join you for the next stop. What, uh, what about this matchup do you think Um, you know, Boyan's a really smart player, shoots the ball really well. Um, let's see here. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure, honestly. I just like playing against these guys. <laughs> Obviously, the way I like playing against that stuff. Um, you know, hopefully when we see him again, uh, we'll be better. Kind of when it's to shot making, you mentioned the big three in New York. Last night, you got to flip New York. One night to the next night. Is it leg confidence? What, what makes great shooters consistently from the East? Um, what makes great shooters, um, consistently great shooters, is their ability to keep shooting. You know, whether you're missing or whether you're making, just continue to shoot the ball with confidence. Um, and, you know, it's a long season. You're going to go through lows and you're going to go through through hot streaks, um, it's just the mark of a great shooter is just keep shooting. Aaron, being out on the court with Joker, can you empathize with him and his frustration building uh, with the officials and him not hearing the calls and playing that big three for the third time? Oh, of course. Of course. I mean, we were aggressive too. Um, yeah, it, it's crazy, man. It's crazy that Yoke doesn't get more free throws. I, Yoke was three for three from the free throw line. That's unbelievable. I mean, I, I had two two for two from the free throw line. But the fact that Yoke is three for three from the free throw line, it's just not even right. He's fouled every play, you know. Um, obviously, they're, the refs aren't going to call it every play, but they're, they're all over his arms. They're all over his body. They're grabbing him. Uh, he's just not officiated the same way as everybody else, and I, it's, not, it's not right. Um, I mean, he's a reigning MVP of the league. He's getting three free throws a game. Uh, still doing what he's doing. Like he needs more foul calls because they're fouling. It's it's not anything. It's not like begging. You know, it's not asking for something that's not there. We're just uh, asking for him to be officiated like everybody else is being officiated because that's 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 not right. And he's being fouled all the time. So he just he needs more foul calls. Is it just you as you said the game is so unique? It's hard. I mean, it's hard to call, hard to whistle. I mean, he's one of the most unstoppable basketball players in the world. Um, if you called him, officiated him the way that he's supposed to be officiated, you know, who knows what type of numbers he would put up or what type of game he would, but that's the way it needs to go. You know, they're wrapping him up, they're grabbing his jersey, they're, they're smacking his arms on rebounds, all, all that. So um, the same calls that everybody else is getting, you got to get him too. And that's just, that's the way it goes. He, need, he needs to shoot more free throws because he's getting fouled. Mm 
I, I mean, I, I thought we did a pretty good job um, uh, just kind of scrambling and rotating and covering for each other. Uh, I think that was probably um, the biggest part of the third quarter is the rotations and, and also just the attention to detail in the third quarter. Uh, a lot of the times people were scoring in the first, second, and fourth is because we were messing up the personnel. And in the third quarter, I think we were really locked into the personnel. Uh, we took away everybody's strengths. Thanks. Thank you. All right, guys. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, everybody.